The school was in special measures in the January. Um, we started working with Food for Life Partnership before the Easter break, it was quite early in that year. We successfully came out of special measures in the July of that year. We've since then had um, another Ofsted inspection just to check our levels of progress and we've had lots of features recognised as good and outstanding, one of those being the way we've developed our children and the way we um, care for them and encourage them to lead healthy lifestyles. When we uh, assess pupils' progress, which is the new format of assessing children in school, then we can use the work that children do based on the farm as part of that process and very often that piece of work is the best piece of work that child's done all year. So there is uh, you know, teacher assessment evidence to suggest that we are providing uh, a very rich curriculum for these children. We believe that our children are much more calm, relaxed, concentration is improved. We start the afternoons well and we do attribute that to our children having healthy healthy meals that we cook ourselves using mostly um, organic and fresh produce. We quite dramatically saw improvements in their ability to sustain um, their learning throughout the day. There was a drop in the instance of um, conflict with children. They produce high quality work, their concentration, their behaviour improves, improves significantly. I think children are a lot more enthusiastic about it. If we talk to them about Food for Life and Assembly, you can see them in instantly sit up and look brighter and more, you know, happy and they're interested because they know that this is something that they'd like to be involved in. Well, the catering mark has helped predominantly in terms of uptake. Uh, the uptake uh, has increased to around 50 per cent uh, and of that 50% now, we're actually returning 600,000 back into the local economy by using local suppliers and local food products. Part of the contracts now, a lot of schools are asking that the caterer must uh, work towards uh, at least the Silver Food for Life mark. Of course, with us already having that, uh, it's, it's pushing it at an open door. One of my suppliers now has employed an additional three people purely to service my contract. His business has grown by 30% over the past uh, two years, so it's a win-win uh, situation. As a, a school in a, in a city area in Middlesbrough, we already have 60% of our children who are entitled to free school meals. All of those children take up that opportunity. Another 20% regularly take up our school meals as well, so there's 80% of our children have, have a school meal and that is to do with the quality of the food, the education that the children have received, that they know that we are like eating school meals at school and how good it is to, to actually have a good healthy lunch. The healthy eating messages are definitely going home. Um, because we send them home in newsletters, but also children actually go home with those experiences. And when we talk to parents when they come in for class assemblers, they often say about what the children have actually done, and they often refer to um, the Food for Life project. They're actually educating their parents when they, when they go home and they've been to the farm and they've seen all that they can see, because at the end of the day, these sorts of things haven't been available to the parents either. People are coming into school now who previously would have stood at the school gate or not even that come that close because they didn't see it as a place for them. In February this year, we cropped our winter crop, which was uh, winter cabbages and Brussels sprouts in abundance. One of the children peeled off the outside skin and put one in his mouth just to see what it tasted like. And they said, oh, it's crunchy, it's good. And the other children copied him as they do, they liked it too. And the children filled their pockets with Brussels sprouts. And I came out at lunchtime play session, and the children with the Brussels sprouts in their pockets were handing them out like sweets to other children in the playground. It's the first time in my life I've ever seen a hundred or more children enjoying raw Brussels sprouts um, on a cold spring day. And it's moments like that that make doing this worth the effort and the time. <laughs>